So, once upon a time I've read a very interesting citation that a magician is someone who thinks critically and from his experience, from his knowledge in social sciences, strict sciences, from his knowledge and experience with the metaphysical, with the spirits, with the intelligences, with the divinities, he derives and rectifies all that and creates his own private religion to follow that is verified through hypothetical inductive deductive methods something that works a set of tools a modular magic of a sort a great hermetica or the how that is strictly individual working for that person as he incorporates the cosmic orders within his own hermetic ideas of what it is now what I found in, for example, some groupings, and I'm not an apologist of Crowley, he was a reformer of magic, that is true. But I often like to joke that the only successful telemite in Telema was Crowley. And what follows is that there is plenty of Crowleyites following that person. Now, what is the disease of a model? The disease of a model, and every model is wrong, but it is useful in that it reinterprets everything back into itself. In other words, Telemites, as a set of belief systems, set of rituals, set of actions based on the Libri and a certain mindset, is making those people very sectarian in what they do and what they believe in. And I often wondered, how is it that the great titles don't match the expertise or the ability in magic whatsoever, in ability to see, experience, walk, effectuate, and so on. Well, that is their problem, you might say. But I always wondered, how is it that Telema colonized, just like Christianity colonized the spirituality of the heathens, Telema seem to colonize the occult and it is very rare that people that have their own critically thinking minds decide that they don't buy this shit they reach for the sources the ancient sources the more modern occult sources and so on so on and they see that academically supported knowledge that they research and apply from the ancient times are not compatible with the lemma that Taoism, like in Liber Trigrammaton of Crowley, Crowley had no idea about Taoism. And Crowley had no idea about Kemetism, because they had not enough sources or academically based and finely researched ideas. So he carved out all the little things he knew and created a religion out of it. But it is his religion. And Telemites follow his religion. They are the executors of one mortal mind's will. That is so. I consider myself the executor of my own will and sometimes the will of the gods, if I'm attuned and pitched correctly. So this is not a critique of Telema. This is more of a pondering about how those people designating themselves as Telemites have short-circuited everything around into their one little creed. And isn't that religious? Isn't that sectarian? Well, that is. So if you claim to be a free person, if you claim to be an open-minded person, you don't limit yourself to sectarian viewpoints. You are open-minded. You are not in your echo chamber. You are not within perspectives of your little minds. And sure, you can use the filter of, I don't know, Telema, Chaos Magic, Zostkia Cultus, Thanatos, whatsoever, as a filter. But when you treat it fundamentally, things go wrong. Because you will never effectuate your own freedom, your own godhood, on the vessel of someone else. Unless Crowley allows you to, right? So, be free, develop your minds, be ingenious, be versatile. Be those magicians that you always wanted to be. That's some telemites, crawler yachts. Come on! <laughs>